Hey everybody, it's Angela Marie back again with another beautiful budget friendly craft. Hope you try this how to make coffee filter peonies for under 50 cents with no pattern. Stay tuned. Here's what you're going to need pink, yellow, and green pastel paint. Styrofoam balls, I like the one inch. Lime and olive green paint. Water, white glue, some wire, paint brushes, scissors, 24 coffee filters, some twigs, some containers, and rubber gloves. Mix two teaspoons of pink paint and three tablespoons of water. Mix it thoroughly and dip in 18 coffee filters and wring them out and let them dry. Now mix the yellow paint and water and dip in two coffee filters and let them dry. Mix the pastel green paint and use four coffee filters and let them dry. Mix the olive green paint and dip two coffee filters and let them dry. There's two ways to do this next step and I'm going to show you both. The first way, take four coffee filters, wad three them up, and then glue them in the center of the fourth filter and wrap them around the twig. You're going to take the base of the coffee filter and twist it kind of like a candy wrapper and then glue it, fold it down over the top of the coffee filter ball and then glue it and let that dry. Now for the second way, you take your styrofoam ball, poke a hole in the center, fill it with glue and then replace the stick and let that dry. Now for the second part, we're going to fold a coffee filter in half and then in thirds and we're going to cut out a zigzaggy, rounded, kind of scalloped shape and then we're going to cut the edges off and round the tip. You should have six individual pieces. Now we're going to fold a second coffee filter the same way, but we're not going to cut off the edges. We're just going to cut the point off at the tip and then scallop the edges. Cut this one in half. Now we're going to cut two coffee filters and we're going to kind of make them similar to the last one only with a little more detail or a little less detail on the end. Cut those in half as well. Now we're going to take the ball that we created and the six individual pieces and glue them starting at the base overlapping them halfway until you cover the whole entire ball. Make sure to smooth everything out, especially at the base. Now we're going to glue on the halves that we cut, starting with the first one and working our way down. We want to make sure they're wrapped loosely around the flower and smooth at the base. Bring the top of the petals towards the, towards the middle of the center at the top. Smooth them down, but don't completely close them. Being generous with the glue makes the flower more durable. Now that you're done wrapping, open the petals from the top, starting at the outside and working your way in, and arrange the flower as you like. For the second flower, we're going to take three coffee filters and cut a one and a half inch circle out of the center and then make petals for the other part. And then after the petals are made, put a little design or scallop on the end. Take the first circle that we cut out and wrap it around our styrofoam ball. Do that with all three. When you get to the third one, put it on the top and spread it towards the bottom as to cover the ball completely. Now 
Now take the last two petals and cut a slit and apply glue and wrap them loosely around the ball. Make sure everything is smoothed down well, leaving the top of the petals open. Now smooth the top of the petals towards the center top of the ball, but leave them still open. You want to give it a little texture, although it should be a closed flower. Now to make the third flower, we're going to take the two yellow coffee filters. I put a little yellow paint in the center of one. And we're going to cut out half inch circles in the middle and we're going to take the outside, wad it and glue it to the center of the ball. Place a stick in the center and wrap our filter around the stick as we did in the making of the ball for the other flower. Only this time we're not going to fold the bottom up. We're just going to tightly wrap it around the stick and let that dry. With the second coffee filter, we're going to cut it in a spiral, one and a half inch spiral, and cut off the ends. Then we're going to cut in half inch slits on the outer circle, edge of the circle, until we get to the end. Now we're going to take each of those half inch slits and twist them into a point. Now starting with the outer edge of our uh, circle coffee filter that we just cut out, we're going to wrap it, apply a bead of glue, and wrap it until you get to the end and smooth down at the base so that it is tightly wound around the stem. Then we're going to set that to the side and let it dry. Now we're going to take our lime green paint and just apply a little to the ends. We're going to take two pink coffee filters and fold them as we did before and we're going to cut out the edges and the top scallop and zigzag the top give it a little bit less detail than the next set that we'll make we're going to cut the tips of that and then we're going to cut only one slit now we're going to apply a bead of glue around the edges and wrap that around the piece that we previously made we're going to wrap both of our pieces and then we're going to cut more, the other pieces now we're going to fold the same way four coffee filters and cut out the tip and scallop out the edges. Cut down about an inch on each side. You want to make sure the petals are kind of deep. Now cut a slit and put a bead of glue around the inside edges, radiating a little bit more glue out. You want to get it to kind of be a little bit more tight than a rose or something like that. Now wrap the rest of the petals around the flower loosely making sure to twist the base in the same or uh, opposite direction that you wound the flower in to give it a little bit of tension around the stem. Now spread the outside petals uh, outward and then work your way towards the center to spread the flower out. Now for the circular petals that go around the base of each flower, we're going to fold a coffee filter in half once, then again, and then again and cut out a largest, the largest circle you can, making sure to cut off the edges, making eight similar size or same size pieces. Now you're gonna apply glue to each one of those pieces and put two to three of those round circular leaves around each flower, making sure you smooth them down as much as possible. To make the leaves, we're going to take one olive and one light green coffee filter and cut them into pie shapes about an inch wide at the base and uh, glue them together with a piece of wire joining them in the center and cut a point at the end to simulate the leaf. And sit that to the side and let it dry. I made six, but you can make as few or as many as you like. Now for the tape or the floral tape, we're going to take two light green pieces of the coffee filters and cut them in half inch strips and we're going to glue them around every stem. Do the same with each leaf. After positioning your leaf where you want it against the flower, take the floral tape and join the two pieces together however you like.
If you have any questions, I'm probably going to answer them in the description box before you give them to me, but there may be some that I do not answer, so just leave it in the comment section and I'll get back to you on it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you like and come back and subscribe, but um, I really hope you try this beautiful budget friendly craft. Bye!